dusty black coat with a red right hand. Um, we're live, I think. Let me just turn this down. Anyway, guys, uh, I just wanted to pop on live here as I haven't actually had the opportunity or the chance, partly because it's my own fault, uh, to introduce myself properly into the group. Um, like I say, it's it's a fantastic group. I've been a, a member in here for quite a while. Uh, great job that Amelia and the guys have done on the jo uh, on this group. It's very clean. It's very it's very constructive. I like the constructive side of the group. Everyone's trying to help and uh, all the rest. So first up, big shout out to Emil for shout, starting this off and for the the untold work that goes into obviously the back end of this group. So my man, top top notch to you. Kudos to you. And um, yeah, just keep up doing doing the good work and the great work that you're doing. Um, anyway, I wanted to pop on very quickly just to introduce myself as Emil has kindly asked me and offered me the role of becoming a coach inside the group. Um, so I thought it was probably do, you know, I was probably the, you know, the right thing to do to come on and probably introduce myself. Um, so basically, my bit of the background about me is uh, about approximately about 10 years ago, I was, let me just show you, I was this guy, um, I don't know if you can see properly, uh, let me see, and I was that guy approximately 10 years ago. Uh, I was actually, that photograph has actually made me want to change. My family was very young then. They're all grown up. I think my son was, yeah, he would have been 15, 16 back then. Or sorry, five or six back then. He's now 16. So when I look back at that photo, it really does just give me a lot of clear insight as to how far I've came. I don't know how far many of you guys are along this journey. Maybe you're just starting out. Uh, the grip is growing every single day from what I can see. So that means guys are, obviously new guys are coming in and hopefully trying to benefit their life and change for their greater good for, as what I can see, for their, their family, for themselves and for their family. So that being said, 10 years ago, I was in holiday and that photograph was taken by my then wife, I'm now divorced, by my then wife and um, I, I remember getting that photo developed and seeing it and actually just like looking at it and saying, holy shit, like is that me, is that me? Um, my brother at the time was already probably three to maybe four stone overweight. He's two years older than me. So if my genetics were the same as his genetics, there was only one way that I was going to go. And that would probably be the same way if I didn't take control. Um, so that was my igniter. And then obviously my three young children. I didn't want to be that type of father where, you know, I'm out of shape. I'm constantly tired. I was already feeling tired at that stage. Um, you know, nearly like an embarrassment to them, if that makes sense, you know, like sports days and stuff. Not that I'm terribly out of shape there, but I was not fit. I like I couldn't I couldn't keep up a half an hour of exercise with the kids without having to stop. I was actually a smoker then too. I smoked, so that would have had a big detrimental effect on my health. Um, drinking obviously you can see from you know, the beer belly was on there. Uh, I was just content. I was just content. And this is what happens when you fall into contentment within a relationship, within your a, a period of your life, is that once you're comfortable, you become content. And once you're content, a lot of things can actually... Hello, Shane. Shane McGee is one of my, one of my guys that I, I, I actually coach. Um, anyway, 
yeah, I was just Shane. I'm just telling the, the group here about a little bit about my past and what has you know what has got me to to become what I call a, an elite father. Uh, like where was it? Uh, yeah, I was just saying. Like I, I smoked back then. I was out of shape. I I was content. I was comfortable. Um, all these things, you know, that uh, detrimental towards towards my health. You know, it just take it just took a realization such as such as something as small as a photograph as I have just shown there, just to make me realize, you know, enough was enough. I didn't want to go down that path. I've seen where that leads. You know, I've seen that with my brother. You know, he didn't actually take control. He let it slip. We've got him out of it now. I helped him. And um, we've got him out of it. A lot of convincing and, you know, a lot of uh, harsh words were, were shared between us. But yes, he is he is in a comfortable weight. I think he's in around 12, 12 and a half stone now. Uh, so from, from 15 and a half to 12 and a half has dramatically, dramatically improved his life. Um, he's recently had a newborn baby at 40 years of age, which is a big, big ask for a lot of people too. Uh, his wife is 39. Um, so, yeah, improving your health that way has a great effect. And um, Obviously, I feel I feel a little bit proud that I was able to help him. Anyway, the fact that Emil has asked me to, to coach, to help coach anyone in the group who needs some help, uh, maybe it's on, on a one-to-one -one basis or whatever it be, I have uh, I've also added existing clients of mine into the group with guys who I think will benefit from this group. Obviously there's other clients that you know want to remain a bit private, which is is totally up to them. But the guys I've added into the group, Shane McGee, Nathan Kern and Colm Smith, I think will benefit from this group. They'll benefit they'll, they will uh, add in their own experiences and, and how I've maybe helped them what we continue to do and um, where they where they are looking to get to with their life, you know, and their, their physique as such. So guys, this is just a quick introduction about me, a little bit about me. Um, 10 years ago, I was working in a construction trade. Terribly, I have to say, looking back, I was terribly unhappy. I was unhappy with where I was in my life, how I looked, how I felt, how I was appearing, and, uh, you know, to my kids, I I didn't feel proud. I, I didn't feel proud or, or someone that my kids could look up to with the way I looked and how unhappy I was in my job and later down the line how unhappy I was in my marriage. Um, so what I want to say is that I have taken drastic, drastic action every day since then to better my life and now I've actually developed myself so much that I've, I've educated myself on nutrition, educated myself on mindset, educated myself and qualified myself in a lot of aspects regarding health and fitness. And simply for, by doing that, it's just that I need to grow. I need to be better. I need to be something more than what I was each day than yesterday. Uh, I hope this makes a little bit of sense that you know, all these emotional pains that I had within me is what caused the change. They were outweighing the it's pain and pleasure. The pain of where I was was outweighing the pleasure, the instant gratification of getting drunk with the lads and, uh, you know, not being present in my, my, my three sons' lives. You know, just watching life pass by with them. You know, it just took a realization, a moment, and pretty much from there. I have devoted my my life to being what I call an elite father. Um, my kids my kids are actually all pretty active and they're all pretty healthy. And I have to say that we have an incredible an incredible bond, and that's simply because I became more present in their lives. And uh, things like that. 10 years ago, I would never have been able to see. And um, it's just a realization. Um, 
I'll let, I see throughout the group that there might be, you know, I, I have completely transformed my life, my physique. Like we made change in my physique from from 75 kilograms of like a skinny fat. I was a skinny fat guy, you know, no shoulders, no chest, big belly. And, uh, you know, for me changing my body on the outside, and if any of you want to go down through my Facebook private profile, you'll see the changes that happened over the years. Um, depending on how far you want to scroll, but with me changing my physique on the out, on the outside was just a replica of what I was changing inside. You know, I was becoming better on the outside to show and to 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 like make everyone see that I was changing on the inside. I couldn't tell people, I could tell people all day long, I'm changing, I'm changing, I'm changing, I'm going to be better, I'm going to be better. But for me, that's not enough. Action is where it's at. It's when you take direct action. You can talk about, people can talk about ideas and talk about things, you know, until they're blue in the face. But until they take direct action, that is when true change happens, for me anyway. Um, that's who I, that is how I like to coach a lot of guys is that it's not so much in their nutrition it's not so much in their workouts it's not so much in the supplements or whatever else I see a lot of guys posting about in the group but what they needed what I feel people need to do is that they're absorbing far too much information there's a lot of information and that causes confusion and I have to say that I have found a confused mind will never change it will never take action so if you're one of these guys is looking a quick fix to supplements best workout to lose uh, back fat belly fat um, whatever it be guys take a step back and go right down to the basics go right down to the very basics and that would be adjusting your mindset is the first thing i have to say you have to adjust your mindset if you're not clear on what it is you want if someone came to me and said, oh, I want to lose a bit of weight, I'm straight on and say, how much weight? Do you see what I mean? If someone's coming on and saying, oh, I want to tone up and tone up, explain tone up to me. That's not precise. That's not specific. These things that people, come, it's because they're not clear on what it is they want. So if someone says, like, I want to lose weight, I say, right, how much weight? 10 kilograms. Okay, let's put down in a, in a 90 day program, 10 kilograms of weight loss, things like that. But that's, that's neither here nor there. That's me probably waffling on a little bit. I just wanted to come on very quickly to the group and say who I am, what I do. I am one of the, the coaches. Thank you to Emil for that again. I'm one of the coaches in the group and I would like anyone who, who may have questions or anything at all to, to reach out. Just simply reach out and hopefully I will be able to shed some light. Um, but guys, honestly, the, the questions and the answers that you're looking for are not in nutrition. They're not in they're not in their workouts, they're not in supplements. Um, it's the you have to ask yourself the real questions, and that is why. Why you want to do all this. And once you get into them, that sort of mindset, the rest follows suits. It's like setting up dominoes. You know, you knock one, they all knock each other over. And that's pretty much that's pretty much the, the be all and end all of everlasting change. I will honestly say that I will never be fat or out of shape ever again. Simply why is because I have a deep meaning why. I have a deep meaningful purpose in my life. I want to leave a legacy. I want to have four generations of my family. My, me, my son, my grandson, and my great grandson, hopefully, uh, on this planet at once. And the guys watch Shane's watching this, he'll know this. I've spoken openly to, to the, them guys about this. And um, once you are able to get that total clear vision, that clarity in your in your in your purpose and in, in your why, you will you will change. You will change in in the drop of a hat, you know. And obviously. With a little bit of guidance for those who are a little, you know, don't have a lot of knowledge on nutrition or training or progressive overload or, or you know, muscle pressure raising, anything like that. Um, 
I would, you know, strip it right back, guys. That would be my, like this guy here, you know, I'll just use his as a very example. When he moved to America from Austria as a 20 year old, he had one bit clear vision in his mind and that was to be the best bodybuilder in the world. It wasn't nutrition, it wasn't training, it wasn't anything, all them things came behind. All them things slipped into place afterwards. He had one clear vision and that is to be the best bodybuilder in the world. And he achieved that. <coughs> Simply because his why, his internally why, was so great that it was causing him pain to stay the way he was. So he had to, he had to keep, he had to do what he did. And Ar Arnold Schwarzenegger is amazing. He's an amazing human being. He's achieved any, anything that he's tried to do, simply because he, he, he can understand the deep, meaningful why inside. Anyway, guys, that is me coming on, giving me, giving you a little bit into what I do. I am a fucking, excuse my language, but I am a real no bullshit sort of type of coach. I won't, um, I won't sugarcoat anything. I will, I will tell people things that they probably won't want to know, but they are the God-given truth. They are the truth, and that is the type of guy I am, you know. Um, so, like I say, it's just a quick introduction video. I don't know how long I've been on here. I do this quite often. Yeah, so 15 minutes or so. So that's a long video for me. So I just want to leave it there, guys. Um, Thank you for to Emil again for bringing me into the group and offering me this role as a coach. And I hope, I hope that I can help any of you guys. And just, just while we're on that, guys, one last final question. Drop it in the comments below this video as to where you feel you are actually stuck. Where you feel you're actually stuck. And if if you're ready to go to that vulnerability and explain things in, to the group by writing a comment. You congratulations to you because you're you're one of the ones you're going to change. You are one of the ones that will change. I can promise you that if you are willing to get vulnerable on your deep, meaningful why and where you're stuck, where you're struggling, you are well on your road to everlasting change. Okay, guys, thanks very much. Um, Emil, I will send you a message if you're watching this, buddy. And um, drop the comments get the comments in and get vulnerable and get real with your life